a staggering death toll here. Three blasts very close to each other in terms of timing. Two of them hitting key areas in Sana'a, the Yemeni capital, two key mosques, the uh, al Badr Mosque and the al Hashush Mosque. Now, the technique used here, redolent really of Al-Qaeda's practices across the region, suicide bombers entering each mosque, targeting worshippers, and then outside one, a car bomb exploded, and outside another, another suicide bomber exploded. Now, we're hearing from officials from the Houthi group here who seem to have been the predominant target. They are predominantly Shia, and these mosques targeted are predominantly from the Zaidi Muslim uh, grouping. So a clear sectarian motive behind this. We're hearing from some Houthi officials the death toll may now be as high as 77, uh, Brianna, with potentially 200 injured. Hospitals putting out an urgent appeal for blood on state TV. But let me wind you back as to why this is such a significant attack. For months now, there's been greater unrest than normal in the beleaguered country of Yemen. The government pushed aside by this group known as the Houthis, who are predominantly Shia, some say uh, increasingly efficient because of the backing of Iran here. They've swept away the current government. They've put in their own, uh, not recognized by the West, government of sorts. But we've seen the violence escalate here. And what the fear is potentially today is that these mosques targeted are from that Shia Houthi grouping. Uh, potentially, this may mark, if it turns out, Al-Qaeda, a predominantly Sunni group, claim responsibility for the attacks. This may mark a worrying escalation in sectarian violence violence inside Yemen at a time too when the country is so close to collapse it's barely got off the ground frankly in terms of being a functioning state for years now but this lurch towards sectarian violence deeply troubling at the same time too we're hearing of warplanes above the presidential compound for the president who's still recognized by the West in the southern city of Aden. So, so much violence on so many fronts potentially here, but this staggering death toll at these two blasts in Sana'a and also one potentially lesser blast in the north of the country that happened about an hour or so afterwards, really causing deep fears of a further lurch towards sectarian conflict in Yemen and an even greater sense of collapse there, Brianna.